Hi, this is James Gardner, the Senior Tech Geek, and I wanted to follow on uh, my videos re regarding the development of this film recorder many years ago and discuss with some of the changes in the industry that it, it, that brought, it brought along with it. Many years ago, and one of the reasons we developed the film recorder to this extent was that we were working with a, an advertising company who wanted to compete with the, the major incumbent at the time. And obviously back then the, the advertisements were slides uh, with a, with a um, tape to do the audio. So what we ended up doing is we developed basically a production line process in that we developed After Effects being able to render directly from an After Effects project directly to film. And we'd have a, 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 we had a production facility and we had some graphic artists and they would sit there and make about two, one to two ads per day based on the ads coming in from the, the ad sales people into an online system where they'd upload the images and the scripts, etc. They would log in, see all that stuff, make an ad, generate an AVI file, send it back to be QC'd and okayed, and then that would be laid up into a, made, a huge project uh, of all the, all, all the ads for that um, two week run, and would get up to probably 60 to 80 ads per run every two weeks that would be generated uh, directly from an After Effects project to film. Now that's why it was called the, desi the designer ad or the motion ad because it was mostly using still images or cutting out um, pictures or parts of images and animating it in a particular way and with a simple voiceover on the back. Now that was a big jump from slides and that company that we did that for uh, quickly became dominant and was bought out by the incumbent as their exit strategy, I suppose. So that was a, an interesting development from this and how um, we pioneered that type of ad. It's quite interesting today to see that even that type of ad has actually started to encroach onto the TV and other um, cost-effective ad platforms that you see out there. But yeah, that's the history and where the designer ad actually was born from and the and the reason that it was uh, initially used in that production line uh, workflow process for ads these days. So thanks for listening to uh, one of my videos on the history of uh, uh, film and specifically some of my history and involvement in the industry over the years. Uh, and thanks for listening. I hope to ca have some more, more up-to-date, some new technology videos coming out soon. Bye from now from James Gardner, the Sydney Tech Geek. DCP Player Free. Get it now from digital.net.au.